Hi, this is Sandy from Simply Crafty SVGs, and I just want to show you for those that have the scan and cut and using Canvas Workspace. Uh, this is the downloaded version of Canvas Workspace. Um, it's a little bit different than the online version. I, there's a couple other things you could do with the online version, but I wanted to show you how to upload our SVG files using Brother Canvas Workspace. Now I'm just going to upload them as they are designed. Um, if you do want to break them up by color, then you would have to have go through uh, additional steps and I would have to uh, create another video for that. So for right now, here's the basics. So if you do, over here there's a little icon that says import from your computer and it has the SVG. So you can click on that. I believe it's under file import from your computer as well. So either one. Now our files are zipped, so let me go back here. So it's going to the file I'm going to use, but I'm going to cancel out of this. So let's go ahead and right here. So when you get the file, it's zipped. We have instructions on how to unzip, um, but basically on a Windows, um, you just right click and say extract all and then just hit extract and it'll create that folder and we'll just do that really quick. I'll delete that, right click, extract all, and then it'll do it to the place you want it to and then it'll have bone box and I'm just going to get rid of the zip file now. If you have a Mac it automatically unzips as well but make sure you don't open the file in the zip. So just we'll just go ahead and go into the bone box here and it may look different on yours. I had it viewing, but this PDF file is a reference file. For the newer files, it's more of a reference tells you about the parts. So you can see the sizes in there um, and how high big the box is and the assembly instructions are on YouTube. And then this is just a reference photo. So here we have the SVG files, so we're going to go ahead and import them. So we're going to go back here and we'll use the icon this time. Import from your computer. Um, y there's a couple options here. You don't, with the scan and cut right now as I'm tape taping this video, um, you can't use the complete files because they are bigger than the mat. So um, they'll automatically decrease in size. But the other SVG files should be, I found an old file here and there, but I'm fixing them as I see them, but they're 11.5 uh, inches or less in size, so they'll fit right on the mat the right size. So these are the three you'll need. And the solid score line files for scan and cut, I believe there's an embossing tool. So if you have the embossing tool that you use to score, um, there's solid score lines that you can change it to a drawing line to emboss. So I know some people do that, but in this case, these are the files with the dashed lines that cut the dashes out. So that's an option for you. So let's go ahead and open the first one. So there's three files here. So here it just shows the, it, it'll explain what it is, but this is part of the box. So the one thing is the score lines are separated from the actual cut lines. So I'm going to undo that. Undo. And to make it so they don't, they move together and you don't have problems in the future, you may want to highlight both and then I just right click and say group. And then you can go ahead and either export the FCM file in a folder, maybe on your USB drive. Um, I'm not going to do that, but you would save it as FCM file or if you have a scan and cut that's capable of transferring these two ways, either via the internet or a USB cable, or I believe there's a wireless option as well. And I think that's the internet. So I don't have an actual machine, but um, I do know the software because I've worked in it. And then you would just continue to do the same thing. So we'd just go file new. I'm gonna say don't save because I've assumed I exported it. And then we'll go ahead and open it. So that's the other one. That's the lid. The other part was the box. And again, you can see they're separated. If you move that, it'll separate it from the dash score line. So you want to be careful of that. So I'm undoing it. 
and then I'm just going to group it really quick just to make sure and then you can go ahead and say export FCM or transfer the file however you would normally do that um, that's up to you and what kind of machine you have and if I imported another SVG on the same mat it'll just bring it into the same mat and you may not want to do that because you might want to separate your cuts by color um, I try to separate my files here and there by that, but I don't always do so. So there's a way in the online version of Canvas Workspace, the internet version, to be able to uh, put together different colors, and that will be a future video. But for now, this is the basic way of getting our SVG files from Simple Crafty SVGs into uh, the desktop version of Canvas Workspace. I hope it helps and thanks for watching.